What's up, Vikings Nation? Now with it being tight end TJ Hawkinson's birthday, I thought it would only be fitting that we look at the possible extension that is coming his way, even though there really hasn't been any discussion, no news about it. It kind of seems like it's been pushed to the side and we're not really worried about it, even though there's some of us that are like, okay, we need to get the TJ Hawkinson deal done. We need to get the Justin Jefferson deal done. What's going to happen with Daniel Hunter? Because we need to get him signed. Christian Derrissaw. There's a lot of things and a lot of extensions that need to be done for the Minnesota Vikings. It just depends on what order the Vikings decide to do them in. Uh, and I'd say, hey, TJ Hawkinson, probably at the utmost importance, right along alongside Justin Jefferson, but I'd say TJ Hawkinson first because Justin Jefferson still has another year on his contract. TJ Hawkinson doesn't. At the end of this season, he can become a free agent, and when he's a top five tight end, okay, if you're the Minnesota Vikings, you'd like to keep that man on your roster for as long as possible, so they need to get a deal done, and there really hasn't been any discussion, no, you know, we're going to get this done here, here, or, or, or then. And it might come during training camp. It might come later than that. But look, okay, the former first-round pick of the Lions was everything the Vikings hoped he would be from a player with enough football IQ to play at a high level immediately after the midseason trade to a versatile weapon who lined up in the slot on 36% uh, of snaps. And that's Pearl, uh, Pearl, per pro football focus. He even had more contested catches as a Viking 14 than any other tight end in the league grabbed the entire season. So why hasn't there been more discussion about a contract extension for TJ Hawkinson? Now the Vikings have certainly been in the news often during the slowest parts of the offseason and it's been very, very slow. From trading Zadarius Smith to releasing Dalvin Cook, this part is wrong okay to, to Justin Jefferson missing OTAs that was that didn't happen Justin Jefferson was there um to Daniel Hunter holding out a mini camp there has been no shortage of contract related buzz okay now ironically talk of a Hawkinson extension has been overshadowed by Jefferson's eligibility and presumably desire for a new deal despite the fact that Hawkinson's situation is more urgent like I mentioned earlier he becomes a free agent after the season whereas Jefferson can play this year and still be under contract through 2024 with his fifth year option picked up now he's not going to get his fifth option picked up Justin Jefferson is a generational talent we're going to end up signing him to a massive extension I'm not sure when that's going to happen but Hawkinson's extension is definitely more urgent because he can leave in free agency this offseason. Now, the Vikings need to be conscious of their spending around a presumed Jefferson mega deal. They will also have to pay Christian Derrissaw, like I mentioned, to a long-term extension, assuming his career trajectory continues the way it went last year. And if both players are among the highest paid at the position, there isn't much room to add a free agent receiver if KJ Osborne leaves after this season. Plus, the bang for buck isn't very impressive in the free agent uh, receiver market. Hunter Renfro makes more per year than Travis Kelsey. But again, wide receiver usually makes more money than tight ends. Hunter Renfro has been a staple in that Raiders offense. That's why he was given that deal and given a massive deal or whatever. So, I mean, that makes sense, right? Because he's, he's a wide receiver. Now, do the Vikings have a price in mind that they're willing to give Hawkinson and not a dollar more? Those are other moves we're shrewd considering where the team stands in present timeline. Not extending Hawkinson would come across like GM Cuesta Dofa Mensa holding the line too hard. It wouldn't really fit with the timeline either. Letting a young pro bowler at a skill position walk isn't exactly the best way to set up the next franchise quarterback. Okay, If they have to bend a little to make it happen now, there won't be any complaints. You're darn right. Okay, We need to get this TJ Hawkinson deal done and I, I, I do believe that the reason we haven't heard much about it is because we are kind of in that, you know, the offseason mode where Nothing's happening. Players are back with their families. They're training on their own before training camp gets underway later this month. So it, it would make sense that we, we're not hearing anything about it, but yet we weren't hearing too much about it prior to that in OTAs and minicamp and stuff. Nobody really talked about a TJ Hawkinson deal at nauseum. Okay. They were just, they would mention it that this needs to get done and that's it. They wouldn't move forward with it. We've talked extensively on the Justin Jefferson extension. When is this going to get done? Jefferson says, Hey, I'm not in a rush. When it gets done, it'll get done. And he's proven that he's a team player. He's going to get a massive contract, whether he, wh wh whether you like it or not. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to like it because we need to keep Justin Jefferson, but the TJ Hawkinson extension is way more urgent just before the sole fact that he could leave. He will be a free agent at the end of the season. If we don't get a deal done, I think the Vikings are going to be smart in their decision-making process. They will extend TJ Hawkinson. And if not, boy, oh boy, 
we could be in trouble, but at the same time, I think we're still in good hands with whoever we have. We got Justin Jefferson, we got Jordan Addison, and we can keep KJ Osborne depending on how they do this season. But the TJ Hawkinson extension needs to get done. I'm not sure of the timeline of when that's going to be. Hopefully it's during training camp. Hopefully it's during preseason, whatever the case may be. Mid-season, I think would be a little too long to wait for an extension. I believe the Vikings uh, and you know GM Questy Adolfo Mensa are in contact with TJ Hawkinson's agent and TJ Hawkinson himself trying to work a deal out. That's probably not, you know, they're probably not hurrying the process. They're trying to make sure that they have the right number in mind and stuff like that. It's going to get done. Okay, so don't get your hope or don't get worried too much. TJ Hawkinson will get extended. It's just we really haven't heard anything about it. With it being his birthday, that'd be fantastic if they got it done today. Doubt that's going to happen, but maybe at training camp, I could see a TJ Hawkinson deal getting done. That's where we stand currently with this deal. Not much is being said, but we'll continue to monitor this situation and see what happens and what plays out for both the Vikings and TJ Hawkinson. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think should happen for TJ. Do we extend him? How much money or whatever? Do we let him walk? probably not let him walk, but also drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of your day, folks, and Skull Vikes.